and we'll take on Trent here at uh, MMP Park. We're about to get underway. Referees wearing a very bright orange. A gorgeous day, Alex, here at uh, MMP Park in the nation's capital as we are underway. Kerry Vanovich there lurking. Ball played forward by Ryerson. That's Tarek Hamad getting the start. The back three for Carlton looks like uh, Hamad. 11 and 1. Top of the league. Good give and go there. Here's Ryerson. Good battle there on the side. Well in from Ricky. Referee certainly letting them play, and there's a late call there. And uh, then, and not obviously in the playoffs. So ball played forward by Ryerson. Hamad. In. Carlton now. have to stick to their fundamentals, get those balls in. They have enough quality to make something happen from the fundamentals. Six minutes gone. That noise you hear is not us. The cowbell is from the alumni. And they will be going all game long. The tone. Yeah, you can, that's going to energize the rookie, Stevie. Oh, wow. Here's, it's an early goal, though, and Ryerson's still in this game. There's Hamad forward. He's, he's found Steph K. Steph K. In tight there, but he's one and throw. In for Ryerson, number eight, he was not happy about it. But I tell you, from what we saw, Alex, I, as you mentioned, if anything, there's a penalty on the play as the Carlton player got shouldered really without the ball mm -hmm. and uh, buried though by Honeyman. Didn't even think about it, right? Yeah, Just no. Just would keep possession. Alumni energized now on their feet. They love early goals here at MMP Park. Yeah, Steve, there was all the potential for this to be. A I, I believe he understands his role. He's going to attract attention and it's going to open it up for his teammates, right? Antoine Copeland, the Ottawa there. Well defended by Ryerson. Popped over the top. He's on side, but Hamad will get there first. Bit of a frantic clearance, but uh, Malikos. Same time on the balls we're used to seeing for the Ravens, Alex. Is, uh, Ryerson will definitely uh, bring the pressure, won't they, today? They will. They will. Oh, Ravens. <laughs> Ball played out. It's a number 14, Martin, for Ryerson. And... No foul. He'll look to distribute. Out to Tarek Hamad. He of the orange shoes. We got orange on the left and we got blue on the right with Chris Malico. So there's Dante Kobe on and the here ball. here I am, Stevie, stuck in the middle with you. I couldn't resist. Nice. Steelers wheel. I love it. Yeah. I, I will. Ball played into Kobe. A lot of space there. He's gained 40 yards without any pressure from Ryerson. They are sitting back a little bit. I think wary as well, Alex, of the skill, right? Yeah. Coming forward. Yeah, so. they're, they're conscious to get behind the ball, and I can see them kind of... Both teams kind of are playing with two strikers. You don't see yeah. that too, too often these days, Stevie, but both teams seem to be in like a... Okay. El Canty into Martin. Looking for El Canty again. Well played there by Big Tara Kamad. He's got space. Yeah. On the outside, number 14. Hamad, Hamad takes no chances. He's been a bit of a beast in midfield. He's almost oh, yeah. like having another old school, but uh, uh, yeah, and that's definitely uh, Tarek. Awkward pass there, and here comes Ryerson. Luckily, it's 1v4, but there's Lord Darius. Ball passed back to Nick Jeffs. Well taken care of. As the drum uh, begins again, begins anew. Nick. Mazada lays it back to Mikhail. The goal scorer for Carlton, number 17. As he drops deep and uh, Dario Conte will take a bit more ground, knock it back. Carlton's just keeping him away now. Back into McHale. People, a celebration of uh, Carlton soccer culture here in Ottawa. Well won by Big Tara Kamad. Ball forward into space. No one making a run, Alex. Again, just not really any creativity from no. Ryerson. They almost feel disjointed, playing a little bit of direct style, but then also trying to build. I think they're kind of... Not sure where their identity is today. Agreed. I haven't called El Canty's name very frequently. Uh, Laborde Aries has been in and out, but again, two. Good header flicked on. It's laying there, but cleared by Ryerson. So dangerous, Stevie. It's that classic Carlton near post ball that we've been using for decades, really, haven't we? And it just yep. gets flicked. Ryerson, there's El Canty into Martin. Martin, he's done well here. Can he get a quality ball in? Not Philadelphia. quite. Philadelphia. Rewind for a second if you're watching on demand, and then you can watch it again.
and you can hear us talk about it again. From the Ryerson Rams coming through, Steve, I think they feel like they've been really without a shot here in the first half, and they're just looking for those little inches that'll get them something. They look dangerous on corners, Alex, yeah. but really they haven't created much from play, and uh, here's Tarek Ahmad of the Orange Shoes. He'll get it forward to Honeyman Wooten. Back to Tony. Nice to be back with you again, Stevie. Yeah, Matt Wash, the captain, takes his armband back. He's going to hug that line. I think Carlton's going to get... Dario Conte. Just correct myself. Kobiso was not the goal scorer, but I was referring, of course, to Honeyman. Goes Gabby down. was impeded. Oh, I think Gabby was impeded. Might have been a bit of hand action there, but uh, no call. Carlton's still in possession. Parents last night at a unnamed pub in Barhaven. That's right, it hurts the Falcons. It's the Falcons uh, banquet, isn't it? It is tonight, Stevie. That's right, it often comes. Mean margarita and pours a mean bourbon, I'll tell you that. Uh, I love it. If there's uh, if there's margaritas and good company, I'm there. Mm. But uh, Ryerson maintains possession, ball played forward. Too many white shirts there as Tara Kamad will lay it off to Dario Conte. Conte into Comba all the way back to Hamad. Hamad looking for Steph K. Steph K will chest it to Beats him, not happy, not sure. Yeah, it's, yeah it's a clumsy, clumsy uh, yeah. the challenge by the big man. Yeah, it's Kostovic, Stevie. Yeah. It's a number 16. No, it's a number 16. It's West. OUA TV. So if you are Delaney and Brian, shout out to both of you. Mom, mom and dad of Nick Jeffs. Staunch Carlton supporter. Exactly sure what happened. I wasn't sure if he was trying to lay it off there, but that's definitely a shooting position from seven oh, yards out. And, I thought uh, it was 2 0. Carlton creating another chance there. So plenty of staffing also had a hand in these new uh, kit designs, right? With Joey Q and an alumni member being uh, an employee there. I believe there was, Stevie, that con. He plays it forward. Hamad's got to be careful. He's That's the right pressure. decision. Yeah. It wasn't a great clearance, but the right decision from Tony to take no chances. Well, there is. Looked like uh, Matt Huash poked the ball away from the Ryerson player. Is Tarek Hamad. They're defending hard against Ryerson. DiMarco. DeMarco's been a little bit cynical in those challenges as well, Alex, right? I mean, yeah, uh, he has and be solid at the back, but Ryerson's going to have to start getting players in that box and trying to live off of those bits. It's true. We see now maybe playing a bit of oh, Tony oh, McHale Tony. just He's dominating. The timing of that jump is just spot on. Looked like Earl Cochran there, Alex. Yeah. Possessed. West Lakin. Easy touch by Hamad. He'll look to distribute. Good ball into Komba. Komba will turn. Again, really they just have to defend at this point. Under 18 minutes remaining. Yeah, but look how much heart they have, Stevie. They're first to the ball. Carlton believes that that... For a bit of pressure, Mikhail knocks it back to Hamad. Hamad sprays it to Kobisa. Beautiful skill there. It was a strange play. I know it was... Uh, we'll catch that on the replay, but... Ball played back and oof. Just a bit of a, another cynical challenge there by... The king of cynical challenges today, number 13, DeMarco. He certainly uh, made a name for himself in the pushing and uh, fouling off the ball, but uh, hasn't really often. If, if the, if the sideline officials are weak, uh, often it reflects on the game, and uh, they've been very, very strong Absolutely. here today. It's a good crew. Ball aimlessly forward by Ryerson. Another Carlton substitute warming up is Quasi yeah, Loney. Uh, Diego Politas, I think, yeah. his first appearance today. It's true. Diego plays at the Bacanti. They've been a good combination, but not good enough today to get on the score sheet as the Ryerson Rams find themselves in a one nothing deficit for the Carlton Ravens. And quite frankly, they need the points. Oh, Ooh. Rob Leroy made, them, made himself present in the box here, up, up in the press box. Good to see you, Rob. But uh, referee Tim saw nothing there to make a call. There's Tarek Ahmad. And again, there you can see the injury coming into play. Tarek Ahmad is not quite... Yeah. Well, and he's yeah. got to go down, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's an Achilles or it's a, it's a calf cramp, but yeah, he's uh, that last run there, he was, uh, he was not looking good. Yeah, I thought his collision, he might have had a collision with DeMarco Stevie. I couldn't yeah. really Laborde Aries gave him a lot of trouble down that sideline on that last run, and looks like Ryan yeah, Kostovic, I believe Kostovic was off number 23 for the Rams and uh, 24 on Rodriguez. So uh, a last-ditch effort by the Rams as we wind down to under four minutes, and it looks like Scotty Mazzotta might be back on the sideline as well as, uh, yeah, Tarek Yeah, Kamad. Sean Kim's going to drop. Yeah.